really felt like, you know, she's part of this family. She chose family over Brandon. Mm -hmm. It seems like she had resolution with her dad. Do we pick up in a good place? Um, I don't know if I'd say we pick up at a good place. We uh, pick up at a place of confusion. Okay. Um, she's trying to figure out whether she wants to get to know this Robert Quinn, if she wants to even go down that path, or, you know, it picks up and she's basically saying, you know, I don't need the piece of paper, it's just a piece of paper, they're my mum's anyway, I don't want to open that can of worms. Um, and so basically it's about her kind of working through that logic and whether that's going to stick and, and whether she does want to get to know um, her kind of, her background and her heritage and so there's kind of all those questions that she's asking herself, yeah. How much of a choice does she have in terms of like if Steph and Lena want to look into who this guy is, they're going to do it, but are they... Giving no, her an option? Giving her, they're giving her complete control. I think they really trust her and they trust that she, um, you know, is going to follow her gut with this one. But um, they do, you know, recommend that she, that she does kind of, you know, reach out and at least try to make the adoption happen. I think that's what they would prefer. Mm -hmm. But um, obviously, you know, Kylie's been through a lot, so I don't think, I think they're not trying to push anything, you know. Yeah. Is there an, an aspect of, like, if I know too much about him, I may start to think about my mom differently? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, and no one's really brought that up. But um, I, there's all of that, I think, you know. She does mourn for her mom, and she, she, you know, doesn't know as much about her. And so I think there's this part of her mom that she doesn't even, she doesn't even know about, mm -hmm. this whole part of her mother's life. Um, and so I think there's some kind of fascination and intrigue there, but also, you know, that's scary to, to kind of go through that. So, yeah, that's a good point, though. And, I mean, she did choose the family over being with Brandon in a romantic way. Mm -hmm. But he's been through something so traumatic, physically, emotionally. Yes. Is Callie kind of a pillar of support for him yeah, through any of that? absolutely. And you see the, their connection um, very strongly throughout the whole season, too. Um, they are very, very close, and I think they're working at trying to make the dynamic more kind of brother and sister <laughs> rather than romantic. <laughs> okay. It's hard, but I, I mean, they're not really succeeding. They're just kind of starting with friends. Okay. So they're just kind of really trying to be mates for each other and, and, and kind of be best friends, and so she absolutely is a, a big support system, but I think she also wants him to kind of stand on his own feet as well and he meets a bunch of new people mm -hmm. and a bunch of new friends um that help him through that too so yeah and last season we saw um both worlds for kelly kind of come together with her school and then when she was in the group home some of those kids still were <laughs> around are they still around in season two yeah. so you'll see them come back in season two see rosie o'donnell's character rita um so yeah no you'll see those guys i think you know we all loved working with them and they're so great um and they brought something really interesting to the show i thought and so um yeah we want to keep them around so we'll be seeing more of girls united yeah is this a, a matter of rita s still around because she's still uh, a role model for kelly or yeah. does something happen and... i think kelly's wanting to keep that connection um she's wanting to keep those girls that she opened up to and mm -hmm. helped her work through a lot of her own stuff you know and and i think that you know, Callie hasn't had a lot of, um, you know, positive role models or especially, you know, female role models. And I think that's something that she's really, is really important to her. I think she realizes how important that is. So she's, she's kept in contact with Rita and, um, I'm not saying that she goes back to right. that through the system again, but, um, she definitely is still in contact and mm -hmm. still present in there and those girls' lives as well. How is the relationship with Jude this season? It's good. It's actually, yeah, last season it was um, quite up and down and um, I think just the struggle to find consistency mm -hmm. and, um, and what that meant for them in their relationship. But um, I think now it's a lot more solid. I think that Jude is anxious because Callie's not adopted and he is and, you know, he's obviously happy to be adopted and Callie is right. m more than happy for him to be adopted. But... Um, but I think that it gives him a lot of anxiety mm -hmm. knowing that she's not. And so you definitely see that play out. Um, Jude's, Jude's storyline is kind of more about him, like figuring out his sexuality okay. and um, his you know, relationship with his friend Connor, with girls, mm -hmm. um, you know, what that means for him. Um, yeah, that's, that's actually a storyline that's really been touching for me has been kind of Jude's um, kind of self-discovery almost mm -hmm. yeah is that a place where kelly can 
maybe step away from being a maternal figure and just be a sister and a friend? Yeah, you know, she's kind of stepping away from that. She trusts that Lena and Steph can be there for him. So she, you know, it's, I think that it's difficult, you know, I can't imagine talking to my brother about that stuff. Right. So I think that, you know, Lena mostly is taking on that that role. And, and I think that it's a huge relief for Callie mm. to be able to pass that kind of yeah. maternal, like, load, you know, onto, onto Lena, who she trusts. So um, that's, a, that's a big part of their dynamic, too, this season. What would you say is the biggest change for Callie this season? Um, learning to trust herself. I think that's, you know, she um, goes through... Um, realizing that she, you know, she basically has a, has a series of panic attacks and she realizes that she doesn't trust herself and she doesn't trust intimacy. And mm-hmm. um, that's been sort of the biggest lesson for her and, and the biggest thing that she's working through, especially in the latter part of the season. You'll see that come out. Does she have someone that, like, she leans on to help her with that or is she internalizing it all? She sees her therapist. Oh, okay. Um, so she sees the therapist that we saw in um, the earlier mm-hmm. parts of season one. Um, and we've just been shooting those scenes now, actually, oh. today. Um, but, yeah, so she and, and she feels very comfortable to talk to Steph and Lena mm-hmm. about it, and even Brandon, you know, and, and Wyatt is also still mm-hmm. still very much there with her. So so she has a lot of a lot of people supporting her and loving her, yeah. And I do have to ask, how does, how does the uh, impending baby play into things? Is this a moment where there's a little bit more of lightness in the house? Um, I think everyone is really, really excited when we come back, you know, um, Lena's a very maternal woman, and so um, you see, you know, that side of her really flourish, which has really been quite lovely to see. Um, and yeah, I think that you see that all the kids really, you know, because as you've seen, like the teenagers, they're all very, very self-serving and, you know, <laughs> very, um, you know... Uh, well, that's how teenagers are. Yeah, no, completely. And that's what I love about the show is that the teenagers are completely, like, dumb and making mistakes <laughs> and completely, you know self orientated right. and all of that, which I love, and I was completely like that as a teenager, oh my god. Um, but you see them really like shift the kind of, the focus off of them mm-hmm. onto, onto Lena, and everyone's kind of, it t- takes a turn where everyone's kind of sort of looking after her, and that's that was really fun to play, yeah. Nice. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Good yeah, to see no, you. Cheers.